Hello and welcome to a very simple explanation of CSRF, aka cross-site request forgery. Let's get started. What is CSRF? CSRF, otherwise known as cross-site request forgery, is a method used by attackers to forge a request from your browser, therefore using your cookie, to a vulnerable web server. Here's a little diagram at the bottom, shows the CSRF URL sent to the victim. The victim clicks on it and it sends a request to the vulnerable web server using their cookie. Now, how CSRF works in depth. We'll go in more depth later, but this is just a very, very simple depth. <laughs> so CSRF just depends on the request having no protection on it or the web server having no protection on it. So you go to attack.com and it will make a request in the background to bank.com forward slash pay.php question mark to attacker. And what that does is it just sends a request to a pay URL for, from your bank. For example, you'll sign up to bank.com. You go to the attack.com, it sends a request, a pay request from bank.com using your account. And what it will do is it will send money from your bank.com account to the attacker's bank.com account with the amount 1337 in the currency and CSRF as the note. Now, here's a diagram explaining it. I did not make this diagram, as you can see at the top, image by independent security. So you have the bad guy, he sends a URL to the victim. The victim clicks the URL and the URL comes up with a form with the method post and it has different types. For example, a gray underscore type equals gray. Obviously that's missing a quote, but we won't go into that. So then the victim clicks submit and it will submit a request to slash fake voting service uh, hosted on slack.com and the gray underscore type will be gray. Then the request obviously followed through to the vulnerable web server, therefore making the user vote for gray. Next, let's go through a breakdown. You open the attack.com. Attack.com makes a request from your browser using your cookie to bank.com, paying the attacker uh, a sum of 1337 with the note um, on the transaction detailing CSRF. Now, just to go through it, in short, you have your browser, you're signed up to bank.com with your account. When you go to make a payment, every single time it will go to pay.php and then it will detail where you're paying it to. Now, that's secure. However, if you have no protection, an attacker can forge this request from his website using your cookie when you go to his website because you're using it from your browser and it will just send a request to pay.php with the parameters he's given or the arguments and it will send it to his account because it's using your browser. That's as simple as I can explain it. If you still don't understand, I don't know what else to say. I can try and help you in the comments if not. Right, fixes and prevention. So checking the origin of the request. So if it's not coming from a HTTP site and yours is HTTPS, you can tell it's not really a real request. Checking the referrer, for example, where did it come from? And if it's not from the same URL, you know, block it. Uh, same site cookie parameter. This is for um, cookies in general. You can do same site equals strict. Of course, it's not the most secure thing, but it works. And two-step authentication can also help. For example, you try and send a payment, it'll send a text with a code for, to make sure that he's happy with sending the payment. Also to re-enter the password, for example. So when you go to the pay.php, it'll ask you to enter your password to send a request. And that's it. That's literally everything about CSRF. Here's the sources I used. I used graysec.net. The guy's awesome. The guy who runs it. The guy who made the post is called NoAP. Uh, he's a good guy. I've linked the thread there. Uh, I also did OWASP. I don't know how to pronounce that very well, but yeah, uh, they explain it in greater detail too. I'll link both these sources in the description. And I hope that you learned something new from this tutorial. Thank you for watching.